Hi everyone, so I have another haul for you today. As usual, there will be timestamps in the description box below, so you can skip around and watch whatever shops you would like to watch, and there are also links to those shops along with the timestamps. Um, I do have a lot more orders coming in, I just placed a few big ones, um, so probably later in this haul, this is the only thing I have right now for this haul in this section, so probably later you might see an order from Once More With Love. Um, I got a few kits in the Glam Planner Glitch Sale. I ordered some things from the Wonton in a Million Dim Sum Crossing, like Animal Crossing pre-sale. My second order ever from her shop, so I'm kind of excited about that. And I'm still waiting on something from Paper Shire. So those things you can expect in the future. Um, but in the meantime, I have my first and only order from Station Stickers. This was her shop closing sale, I guess. I don't remember if it was a sale or not. It probably was. But as of now, um, her shop is closing permanently. Well, not closing, it closed already permanently, I think April 30th. So um, yeah, you will not be able to get any of these things from her shop if you were planning on it. But I just wanted to show off what I managed to grab because I'm really excited about these stickers and I can't wait to use them, honestly. I mostly got foiled scripts. Um, because as you remember from my previous videos, I'm newly obsessed with Kinsey's Creations scripts, um, but I'm getting all of those in just um, black on clear paper right now. Um, eventually I may get those all in foil as well, but um, I wanted just to have those that could go with any spread. But um, these I'm using to actually build out my foil collection, because I don't always use foil, but I like having more options. So that's kind of what this is about. So here is the um, card that comes with it. It's not really a journaling card, but I'm going to keep it because it has my name on it, so it's personalized, which is kind of nice. And I did also get a rack bag in my order. I kind of opened it already. I was excited, um, which was very unexpected, so that's very nice that I got that. So we got a couple of character sheets and a few other types of sheets. So we have this one which is a girl holding a pot and it is closed and I like it because it's vague so it could be just cooking anything so that's really nice and I like her little bun because that's kind of the hairstyle that I use all the time and then here we have her little bunny character watching TV which is also very useful I always need um, more TV stickers and then here is a kind of sampler sheet with a bunch of kit elements I don't know if I'm gonna use this one I'm probably gonna put this in my stash pile this one I'll probably hold on to. It is hollow foil, I believe, hollow foiled cutout icons on pink and like a bluish gray paper. So that is very useful. I like these icons. And then this sheet, which is a deco and script sheet. So I may take um, some of these elements out and all of the flowers to use as deco for another kit, but the rest I will probably put in D stash. So well, there's a lot of useful stuff in there. That's very nice and unexpected. So I got two freebies with my order. One normal freebie and one foil freebie. So the normal freebie is the closing day $30 and up freebie. So it's a bunch of the panda character stickers. So I'll let you kind of look over that. I'm not going to point out each one. And then the only two non-foiled sheets that I got were the, the panda holding a scale. Um, this is mostly to mark my snake Anastasia's weight because I don't really track my weight anymore, at least not my planner. Um, so I wanted something to mark that because I don't really have any scale stickers right now. And then the other one I got was a stomach cake sheet because I'm always looking for a stomach cake sheet because I really only have one sheet right now, so I need more variety. So this was perfect for that. I was really glad to find that. I don't get stomach aches that often, but... It's always either a stomachache or a headache during my week. So now for all the foiled stuff, which I'm super excited to go over. It's quite a chunk, so I am really happy to dig in, and I don't at all remember what I got, because it was a few weeks ago, so it'll be a fun surprise. So here is the foiled freebie. It is the Sunday $15 and up freebie, I guess. I don't know why she has a freebie just for Sundays, but <laughs> here it is. So we have some scripts in gold foil. 
FaceTime with, work from home, play date with, workout session, Amazon delivery, I'll be using that one, doctor's appointment, Michael's run, and grocery run. So there's a lot of good stuff in there, although I don't really think I will use the play date with one. I'm a little bit old for play dates and I don't have kids. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get into the rest of these. So um, just kind of a general overview. There, I tried to get like as many of the main four foils as I could, um, gold, silver, um, I guess I kind of substituted rose gold with pink wherever I could because I, you know, I like a more pinky rose gold anyway. Um, and then hollow. However, not all of the options were available for those. So I got basically whatever was left. So it's not like a full sampling, but it's, you know, it's a lot. So we're starting with podcasts. I don't actually have any podcast scripts or foils. I did order one from Kinsey's Creations as a custom, but that hasn't come in yet. So it looks like I did manage to get this one in all four of the foils. Yeah. Um, podcast. I I would use podcast stickers to mark two different things. Um, one is listening to podcasts, because I've been doing that a lot lately. And two is I actually started a podcast with my friend um, where we talk about movies, although we haven't really... We've recorded two episodes, but we haven't edited them or put them anywhere yet. But um, it's still going to be fun to mark recording those. So that is what I think I would use podcast for. And then this the script I got from Kinsey's Creations is podcasts with an S. So that I'm probably going to use to mark when I'm listening to podcasts. Because it's usually like multiple at once. Uh, multiple per day. I do that a lot at work. Um, so yeah, we have this gorgeous script. Here's the gold, silver... No, that's not silver, that's pink, I'm sorry. Getting things out of order. There's the silver hollow. That is a gorgeous hollow. I love different hollows from different shops. And then pink, which looks purple in the light. Unless you look at it from, like, that angle specifically. In which case, it looks pink. But yeah, I really love that pink foil. Yes, smoothie! I don't have... Oh yeah, speaking of... Speaking of um, podcasts and smoothies. I also need more icons or like character stickers for podcasts. I literally don't have any at all. Not for listening, not for um, actually doing a podcast. So let me know your recommendations. Same for smoothies. I don't have any smoothie stickers, which makes me really sad because I do drink smoothies a lot when it's hot outside. Um, so let me know about that. I think I ordered some from Once More With Love, but I don't really have any currently before those come in so um there may be some from paper shire i'm not sure but just let me know your recommendations for that too so this actually only came that uh, note some are mixed up oh wow they are way out of order oh it's probably the order in which i ordered it because i did um I added like two things to my card at once and they got out of order anyway so i actually did manage to get these in all four scripts which is great um, I think this is another one I ordered from Kinsey's Creations, too, so I'll have a black version as well, but here we have gold, silver, pink, and a hollow. It is so weird not seeing rose gold, but I do prefer the pink. I love pink. I didn't love pink as much until I started planning, and now I'm obsessed with pink. So here we have Animal Crossing. That is so funny because I literally got Animal Crossing stickers from Kinsey's Creations, too. I swear, I'm just getting the same stickers from every shop, which, I mean, it makes sense. Because, like, that's what I'm into nowadays, but it's just so funny. Well, I'm glad I have it in black and foil colors, so no matter what situation I need to mark it, I'm ready for it. Um, so here we have the gold, silver, um, hollow, and pink. I keep wanting to, like, say them in the opposite order. Um, but yeah, like I've said in previous videos, I'll just repeat really quickly, I have the game New Horizons, but I don't have a console on which to play it, so I'm just holding off on that for now. I'm instead just playing New Leaf like crazy, so I don't get FOMO. Um, and so that is mostly what I will be marking for now, at least when I catch up on planning. Probably by the time I'm caught up to like now, I will probably already have a Switch and will be playing the new new version. But either way... I'm ready to mark anything Animal Crossing related with these. Um, I do have plenty of those stickers though, so I don't think I need any recommendations on that, although they're always welcome, but I'm just not desperate for them. Um, oh yeah, I also mentioned in my previous haul, I think, that I 
wanted to be able to mark which specific version I was playing, whether um, New Leaf or New Horizons, and then maybe eventually if I start going back to Pocket Camp, which I may, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. It's still fun just to have on your phone. But, um, so I did order custom scripts from Kinsey. Um, one of them says New Leaf and one of them says New Horizons. So I can kind of add those on to the script stickers, hopefully. I'll be able to do that and, um, just kind of mix and match. So I can have Animal Crossing New Leaf and Animal Crossing New Horizons, maybe, if they all fit. So we will see. Um, either way, I could use, just use this or just use, like, New Leaf on its own. Alrighty, so next we have Budget. Yeah, this was another one where they were split up. I was going to say that I only got a few on, but I didn't. They were all split up. So, um, yeah, I'm always looking to mark budgeting. I usually like marking it in block scripts, but... It's nice to have the kind of cursive script option. So gold, silver, pink, and foil there. I've been trying to do it more frequently because my sticker spinning is almost getting out of control again, but I'm I'm trying to keep a better handle on it. So here we have meal prep. I should do this more than I currently do. I will when I have more time when I'm not trying to catch up on planning 24-7. So like it's it's in the cards. Gold, silver, pink, and hollow. I like how like flat or like short these stickers are. Like they don't, they're not very tall. So you could easily fit these in like a little thing, I feel like. Maybe not so much budget where you have lots of loops that go above and below the rest of the letters, but things like this are nice and short. I could probably still fit budget in a little thing. That's something I would try. So yeah, migraine was one that I think I only got two on because they weren't available in other colors. So I only have the pink and hollow for migraine, which is so funny because I'm never going to use these colors. I did get migraine as a custom script from Kinsey though, so I will have those options. But if I need it for pink and hollow, I got those right here. I don't actually have migraines that often anyway. It's usually just a normal headache, but I have them enough that I need to get scripts for them. Um, groceries I did manage to get in all four, which is wonderful because I get groceries almost every single day because I work at a grocery store, so I just pick up a couple things every day. So there's gold, silver, pink, and hollow. I, don't, I haven't even been pointing out how many you get on each sheet, so obviously it varies depending on the width of the script itself, but for something small like groceries, you get 24. So that is very cool. It's going to last a while. At least a couple months, based on how often I get groceries. So here's rainy day. I did get this in all four foils, thankfully. I love it when it rains. I wish it rained more. And I love marking it in my planner. I love rainy day stickers. So we have gold, silver, pink, and rose gold. These are not rose gold. Hollow. I keep wanting to say rose gold again. So these are kind of long stickers, so I'm not too sure how well... Um, an icon would like fit next to it. Let me just kind of bring these out for comparison's sake. Yeah, so these basically take up the whole 1.5 inches of the, of the day. Um, yeah, the day box. So you, there would probably be some layering there. So that's just kind of something to take into account. Or you could use it in a half box like this and then put the character sticker or the icon on the top part. So just something to consider there. Although I don't know why I'm telling you to consider because it's not like you're going to be able to buy these. But um, if you have an order coming in, then yes, just expect that. Then we have laundry. Another one I like to write in cursive letters. I don't really write laundry in block letters that often. Although I think when I got it from Kinsey's, I got it only in block letters. So now I have this too. All four scripts. I do laundry every two weeks, so not that often. But yeah, I have way more laundry stickers than I use reasonably. But again, it's called options. Gold, silver, pink, and hollow. And YouTube binge. I swear to God, every time I get a YouTube binge sticker, it's always enormous and would only be able to be used in a half box. This and the organize stickers script, like somebody please come up with those scripts in a form that will fit in like a fancy label, like please do that. 
because this is way too big. This is only going to fit in a half box. Like, goodness gracious. I need more options than that. Anyway, all four foils there. I'm going to stop saying their names because you can obviously tell. It is really pretty, though. I like the, um, the kind of blockier script and the cursive. So here we have pack and unpack. Looks like I may have only gotten this in one foil. It was probably only available in one foil, which is gold, but that's fine. I think gold and silver are the ones I use most frequently anyway. So here we have Amazon delivery in all four foils. I do love ordering from Amazon. I have Amazon Prime and it makes everything so fast and easy. So Amazon and eBay are my two go-tos for like non-sticker products, obviously. This is another kind of big one. But this I feel like it could fit in a fancy label. Like, let me just think about it. Yeah, this would fit in a fancy label, so. Yeah, somebody just make YouTube binge and organize stickers this size. That would be great. And then we have Sleep In, thankfully in all four files as well, because I do use this one a lot. I don't know, I'm like I said before, I'm trying to get up earlier but like some days, like today, I slip and I sleep till noon, so it's still relevant, unfortunately. It's another nice tiny one. I feel like every time I get a sleep-in script now, I need to get a really tiny one because the only ones that I've had so far have been the School of Prince Co. ones, which are enormous and don't leave room for an icon, so I'm like trying to compensate by getting really tiny scripts that leave tons of room for an icon. So my Kinsey's ones are this small, and these are this small, so yeah, plenty of room for an icon right there. And then, I'll put that off to the side. Oh, look at that. So I did get pack, I get more pack and unpacks. Did I get a double? Because I feel like I got a double here. It's quite possible that I did somehow. Yep. So I got two of the gold, literally don't know why, but I'm not mad because I don't have any other scripts of these words. I don't have these from Kinsey's either, so I'll probably need to think about that, but I don't travel that often. So now that I have them in all four foils, that might, that might be good enough. There's a little bit of an oopsie on that one, but that is a-okay, because the rest are fine. And then finally the last script I got was Reply to Messages. Thankfully I got this on all four foils as well. Um, I don't really get a ton of messages at once to reply to, but usually like at the end of every week I'll have like a few when I just sit down and do it. So I kind of like getting to mark this because I feel like I'm some big shot YouTuber with a lot of like messages to reply to or comments. But um, so that's kind of why I got I got these to mark it. But um, yeah, not quite as big shot as some of the other YouTubers who get probably like hundreds of messages, but still, I like to pretend. And then the last sheet I got was the um, kind of spring um, quote overlays. So these can go over a full box and make it like a quote box, which I think is like a really cool idea, especially because they are not like the size of a full box, so you can put it anywhere in the box so you're not covering up something really important. Um, and these are in pink foil, I believe. Maybe rose gold. If it is rose gold, it trends towards pink, so it's a perfect spring color, whatever color it is. So there's spring is in the air, spring vibes, spring forward, wake up happy, bloom, and then happy Easter, so there's an Easter one too. I don't think I even have any Easter kits. I think I have one that is like a misfit. I don't know. Anyway, that is my huge chunk of foil from Station Stickers. And yeah, I'm kind of sad that the shop closed right when I discovered everything. Um, this is pretty much everything I would have gotten from her shop anyway. I don't think I needed any of her kits or anything. But um, I'll just have to like hope that this lasts me a good long time. And it probably will, so yeah, I'm glad I have these anyway. Alright, so that's it for this section. Let's go ahead and move into the next one. Okay, so let's go ahead and skadoodle into the next section of the haul. It's just a really tiny order from Papershire. As usual, I only got like a few sheets at a time because, as I said before, my wish list has I think 150 sheets about on it. And I definitely 
can't afford to get those all at once so I just kind of whenever there's a sale I just grab like the 10 or so sheets that I think I'm gonna use um, the soonest so that's what is in here although I've heard that she is going to switch from this glorious matte it might be premium matte too glossy because the printing isn't as good on matte paper although I mean it's always looked fine to me so I don't re really understand why she feels the need to switch but I trust her judgment but also I think most of us with our character stickers we like matte paper so I don't know how well that's gonna go over um the only shop that I can remember that does glossy character stickers is Girl Repents Co with her scribblers but she has discontinued those so there's really no shops out there that have glossy character stickers so um like they don't look terrible in spreads but it's like, the printing is really not as good on glossy paper, so I don't know. But if she says it's better on glossy than the matte paper, then, you know, I still I still want to trust her, but I'm a little hesitant, so I'm kind of debating on whether I should just take the plunge and just buy all those stickers in the matte format before she switches. I don't know. If you're a fan of Paper Shire, let me know what you would do in that situation, because I'm kind of really torn about it. But in the meantime, I have this order to go over, so it did come with this cute little journaling card with her new character, Vanilla. Although, um, it is not just a journaling card, you can kind of write on the back too, so the front is glossy and then the back is matte, so you can write on it more easily. So that is a really cute idea. I kind of want to use this as like a card for somebody now, or like a postcard type thing. And then here we have the order and a few freebies to start. So I always get Maricel's. Um, freebie, she's one of the PR girls, and her freebie is like the one that I feel like I would use the most because it has like most of the character stickers and brown hair. And then some, or I guess one bigger sticker down here for like organizing stickers, which I love. So, um, yeah, I'm sure you've seen that many, many times. And then the all orders freebie, so she's changed this once again. I like it how she keeps changing it. So, this is her newer kind of flat lay design. Um, but this one only features four different fat lays instead of all ten being different, which is perfectly fine because they're really pretty. So we have tea and macarons, um, cake. I don't have, like, any cake st stickers. Like, I haven't even seen them that much. Not that I'm a big cake eater, but, like, sometimes you just need a cake sticker. So let me know if you know of any, like, cake stickers out there. Um, here we have, like, a kind of fashion fat lay, and then it looks like planning with flowers and macarons. And then they just kind of repeat. And then the 15 pound order freebie is this. It's just like a sheet of post-it notes. I really like this honey pot, so I think I'll keep that. But I don't really tend to use the other types, so I'll probably de-stash those. And now let's get into the actual order. Yeah, it's so funny, I got so many of the stickers that I've been like asking for recommendations for. Like pretty much anything you want in a sticker is something that Paper Shire is going to have because she has just so much in her shop. So um, yeah, I've been looking for a lot of these types of stickers lately. So of course I had to throw those into my cart for this order. So we have these scale stickers. I don't really mark my own weight anymore. I know I used to, but now it's more um, marking my pet my pet's weight um if you don't know i have one pet and her name is anastasia and she is a ball python and it's really important to track her weight because they go on um, eating strikes a lot so right now she is on a huge eating strike has not eaten in a very long time so i need to make sure that she's not losing too too much weight actually in the last way weighing she like gained a little bit which i was like how what are, what are you eating like, they don't eat just random things. They're not dogs. They eat only, like, animals. <laughs> and, like, there's nothing in there for her to eat. So I don't know how she gained weight, but it's kind of more reassuring than her losing a ton. Because she already did lose a little bit. But I guess she's not continuing to lose it, so that's good. Um, anyway, this is what I will use to mark that. I guess I'd kind of just, like, write in the weight there. Actually, that'd be a good idea. So I could just write, like... Anna's Anastasia weigh in or something like that and then just write the weight there so that's a good idea so that's what I use that for and then um podcasting I guess you could technically use this for listening to podcasts but um me and my friend just started a podcast for um talking about movies because that's one of my favorite subjects to talk about other than stickers um is movies and tv shows so I'm going to use this for when we record our podcasts 
We haven't actually like uploaded them anywhere yet. We've done two episodes and we might do another one today. But we're like being really lazy about editing them so far, so we haven't really, you know, taken the steps to upload them anywhere yet. But um eventually we might. I don't know if I'm gonna share that with you guys because we're like I I tend to be like pretty I don't know, I guess tame on my planning channel and everywhere you see me. But um, my friends and I, we get like super casual and we swear a little bit and I don't know if I necessarily want that to be associated with me and my planning. So um, I probably will not ever let you guys know about that, but it's just a fun thing that we do. So of course I've been asking for a lot of smoothie stickers lately for a lot of recommendations on that because in my back planning, I just finished planning summer and I had obviously consumed a lot of smoothies last summer so now I'm getting into back planning the fall and so I don't really need these anymore but I have been starting to make smoothies in real time these days um so when I finally get caught up on planning I will finally get to have real smoothie stickers instead of just using like fruit stickers to mark smoothies obviously I like have a rule where I have to get um any Animal Crossing stickers that I see even though I I'm not playing New Horizons yet. I, I have the game, but I don't have a Switch. Um, but I'm still playing New Leaf all the time. But anyway, I still want to be able to mark any Animal Crossing games that I play, so I have to pick up all the stickers for that. So here are the really cute Animal Crossing stickers from Papershire. We have the furniture leaves, fossils, flowers, Tom Nook's adorable little face, fortune cookies, which is a really funny thing that like, it's like an aspect of um, New Leaf. I don't know if in, if it's in New, Her New Horizons. Let me know if it is, because like, I haven't heard anybody mention it, because it's not really a very commonly used feature. Like, I I think I used it in New Leaf until I got all the items, and I was starting to get repeats, and I was like, this is silly. But it's like something that you do like a couple of times, and then kind of just forget about it. Same with like crafting and customizing furniture with Reese and Cyrus. Like, if you don't know Animal Crossing, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But for those of you that do, that's just another funny thing I noticed, that there's some features that, like, they make a big deal out of in the marketing for it, but then you, like, never use them. But it's kind of funny to see that on a sheet, because I haven't seen any other um, sheets with the fortune cookies on them before. And we have the bag of bells. Um, and I guess that's, like... Um, oh yeah, so coins, and then I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a real dollar, but I don't know because that's not really in the game. I mean, that's a bag of bells when that's like a single bell is what I mean. Um, and then Isabel's face. Yeah, let me know if there's like a, a different kind of currency system that involves like bills in New Horizons, because I don't know that either. It's not familiar to me. So I love this because I have not seen any like DS or like 3DS or DSi, obviously not DSi, nobody remembers what that is. I still have mine though. Because um, nobody has these type of stickers anywhere and I play New Leaf like solely on my 3DS because it is the only console I currently still have. I had to get rid of my Wii after it stopped playing Mario games, which really annoyed me because those are my favorite games. But um, yeah, so I never got the Wii U, even though I played a few games on it on my, friend, my friend's system and it's really cool. Um, and yeah, I, I didn't really get anything after the 3DS. I have played on my friend's Switch a lot, but I still haven't gotten one of my own. So basically I'm just stuck with this for my video games and my phone, which doesn't count because mobile gaming is not real gaming. Hashtag controversial opinion. But I was really excited to find these stickers because now I can mark at games that I play on my 3DS, which is basically all the games that I play are going to be on there that I don't want to necessarily, or that I can't mark with Animal Crossing stickers or Mario stickers because sometimes I'll play other games like Scribble Knots or something, like a, like a throwback kind of game like that. And, um... I want to mark that so now I can and it's perfect because I think the only option she offered this in was red and my 3DS is red so that's like perfect so I'm so so thankful for that even though this is only a DS and not like a 3DS but come on from far away you can't tell so I was just so thrilled about that so so thrilled um I keep like gesturing to this sheet and I haven't shown you this is the Super Mario sheet so it's basically kind of like an amalgamation of a lot of Mario games. So we have Vanilla as Mario, which is so adorable, with the little life mushroom. 
or that's not life mushroom that's just like a power up kind of it makes you grow big um and then we have the dice i guess i forget what that is is that from like mario party maybe then you have the question block you know that coins these are in like every game um fire flower make you shoot fireballs and moons which are from these have got to be from odyssey right the moons i'm pretty sure those are an odyssey thing super mario odyssey I forget what the point of galaxy is what do you collect in galaxy is it also stars because usually it's stars and i think odyssey did the weird thing where you're like collecting moons it could be more games than just odyssey i don't know let me know i'm like i'm not i'm not like a hashtag fake fan but i've like only played the newer games and I don't really have all the consoles I need to play all the newer games, so I don't play them constantly, so I forget some stuff. But, like, I, I get super duper into Mario lore. And then you have treasure chests, which I don't really know what they're from, but I'm assuming, like, Captain Toad treasure tracker or something dumb like that that I will never play. <laughs> I think she has a whole sheet devoted to treasure tracker, I think, which is just the funniest thing. I think she also has a Mario Kart sheet. Which I don't know why I didn't get. Maybe it's on my wish list because I have played so much Mario Kart as a kid. But then again, that was on my Wii, which I don't have. So I don't have like a DS version of Mario Kart. I don't. I can't imagine that would be fun. It's more fun as like a group game. Um, so I have planned with me this flatly sheet. I have like been eyeing this sheet for like so long, and I keep thinking when I like do a plan with me, like oh I should I should use that sticker and I don't have it yet and I like keep forgetting and I keep getting disappointed so I finally like took the plunge and bought this sticker because this is so great. I don't really have a ton of like filming like plan with me stickers. I really don't. I have like maybe two ways to mark that. So it's really cool to have a flat lay to be able to just mark that. It could be used for watching plan with me's, filming or uploading plan with me's, anything like that. Um so it's very versatile and you could just like put a script over it or on the top or in the middle of it just write film it's such a cool sticker so I love that um because it's not just like planning it's not just planning time it's like actually the filming of the plan with me that is like represented here so that's what separates it from all the other planning flat lays out there because there are a million um here we have a couple food sheets so I have porridge I'm not even sure like what porridge is by definition, but I got this to represent oatmeal because it looks like oatmeal and porridge and oatmeal are I'm sure related if not the same thing. I don't know. Let me know. I'm not going to look it up. I'm too lazy. But yeah, occasionally I'll like make breakfast and a lot of the breakfast stickers I have are like eggs and I don't always make eggs. Like most of like half of my breakfasts are oatmeal. So Sometimes if I'm marking, like, making breakfast because I have nothing else to mark, then this will be that. I also got bagel. There's, like, no bagel stickers. There's, like, one mini sheet of food from Once More With Love that's, like, bagels, but they're, like, really plain bagels and they look really boring. Um, I think it's from Once More With Love. Could be from somewhere else. But I think it's from there. Anyway, so I needed, like, actual bagel stickers because bagels are like a special treat for me as somebody who can't really have gluten or dairy a bagel with cream cheese is like a really rare once in a you know once a month thing so i had to get special bagel stickers to mark that and aren't these so good don't they look delicious that looks really good so i had to get those puzzle stickers i have zero puzzle stickers and it really makes me mad because whenever i go to my parents house i always like do a puzzle with my parents that's like our thing and I have, like, somehow managed this whole time not to have puzzle stickers. So in my last plan with me that I marked going to see them, I used, like, board game stickers instead. But, like, obviously puzzles aren't board games. They're not even games. They're puzzles. They're their own thing. So I really needed puzzle stickers. So I have these. And I only have one more trip I have to mark um, in December. I'm only in, like, mid-October in back planning. But in early December, I went to my parents' house again. I always did a puzzle, I'm pretty sure. So I'll finally be able to mark it properly for once. So there's little Vanilla doing a puzzle. And then lastly, we have needlework. So this is basically like embroidery is what I think it's meant to be, this row. But it could also be like cross-stitching. It's like, like you use an embroidery hoop to cross-stitch. Or you don't have to, but it's very frequent that you do. Um, and that's, you know, what it looks like. 
So I do have a cross-stitching sticker from Fox and Cactus, but um, I wanted one that had that was like more versatile. So I'm really glad that this one has like cross stitching, but also just like general sewing because I also uh, mend and tailor a lot of my clothes sometimes because as a short person, pants never fit me. So I have to either get them hemmed or do it myself. I tend to just do it myself because um, I don't like paying for things, but um, except stickers, I guess. Anyway, so this could also be used for just like mending jeans or something like that. I marked that a lot. I marked that in my last plan with me. So, um, yeah, just another very versatile sheet. So these are all ones that I'm going to be using pretty soon. Not super soon. Like this will have to wait on a little bit, but these are ones that like I have actually done these activities like between what I have yet to plan and present day. So I am going to be able to use these to mark things. So really pleased with that as usual. I'm obsessed with Paper Shire. It is, in my opinion, the most versatile shop that has the most types of things, the most types of stickers. If you just randomly think, oh, I need a sticker for this, like, chances are you're going to find it in the shop. Once More With Love is also really good at that. Coffee Monsters Co. as well. Happy Day I may be less so, but also has a wide selection. Those are probably the best shops for versatility. Like, you could easily do you know spreads for the rest of your life just from like one of those shops but um still it's all about the options and it would be really cool to have a whole week of just paper shire stickers and I might do that someday but I don't know it's kind of fun to break it up with different styles but I don't know about going to glossy because that's definitely going to break it up so I don't know let me know your thoughts on what you're going to kind of do about that if you're a paper shire fan but that is the first tiny little section, or not first, the second tiny little section of this haul. So I think I have room for one or two more. So let's go ahead and skadoodly do into the next one. Hi everyone. So I know that for this haul, I was kind of heavily hinting that my, um, my order of Kinsey's creations of all of my custom scripts that I ordered, which is like 55 scripts or, or close to 60 or something ridiculous. I heavily hinted that that would be included in this haul, but it's actually not going to arrive until I think um, a couple days from now as of filming. So it is almost certainly going to be included in the next haul, but I have like, oh my god, a million other things that just came in too. So um, I will try to squeeze it in, but again, that's going to take so long to go over. So I don't know, it may be in the next haul, it may be in the one after that, but I am going to be doing like a lot of back-to-back -back hauls now. Um, I don't know how long it's going to keep up, because I can't obviously keep spending money forever, but um, there are going to be a few more at least per week, so you'll have that to look forward to, and then of course the constant plan with me is as I try to catch up. Um, so yeah, I hope to be able to share that with y'all soon because I am so hyped and I want them to be here today so I can use them when filming my next plan with me but I'm gonna be patient because I know that I'll be able to keep using them in the future also um please ignore my super long nails as I've said before I'm growing them out in order to be able to use um fake glue on nails because I find that they last a lot longer when my nails are already long and I just glue them on them but this one fortunately broke so it's gonna be a lot longer before I'm able to do that um, I don't know. We'll see. Ignore that. Okay, so I have this kind of hefty order from Once More With Love to start out with. It's been a hot minute since I've ordered from her shop, so that's why it's kind of a bigger order. But, um, I'm really excited about it. Again, this isn't everything that I want from her shop. It's just all the things that I know I'm going to be able to use in the most upcoming Plan With Me's. Um... So yeah, I think it is most of the things that I had on my wish list. So, oh my god, there's so many extra things I was not expecting here. Um, OMG. OMG. So, oh my god, what, how many extra things did I get? I've never seen this many. I've quite literally never in my life seen this many. Um, okay, so we have this journaling card, which is a cute little quote, like the moon, not always full, but always beautiful. Hmm. Who, who is like the moon? What does not always full mean? I mean, I'm like, I'm hungry a lot of the time, so I'm not always full all the time. Maybe it means like fulfilled. I don't know. Somebody explain that to me, lol. 
Um, and then she has a really cute thank you message on the back. Just gonna read that real quick. She's so sweet. She always does this thing where she includes these really heartfelt thank yous. So that is really super cute. I'm gonna keep that forever and ever. Um, let me see. She's also included this really cute kitty card, which I will treasure and keep forever, but also because she wrote a note on the back. So I had written, um, I don't know, some message like, love your shop, love your new releases, blah, 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 the thing I usually do. Um, oh, wait, I see it over here. I said, I love your stickers so much, OMG, which is like the most basic <laughs> message. I'm like, I'm always super dumb and dorky like that. Like... I don't know. I, I, I just want to leave something for, like, shops like this that I know are going to, like, read that and appreciate that. Um, that's so sweet. So, Tina, uh, Marg's manager, I guess, wrote a message back that she saw it. Um, and she said thank you. And she, she actually makes a list of all the messages that we write, and she passes them on to Mark. So, that is super nice that she does that. So, that is why this happened. That is so sweet. I'm going to keep that note for Mark. So I love that. Um, I just love shops that do that. Like, she's, like, one of the biggest, like, literally probably the biggest character sticker shop out there. And she still takes the time to do that. So that is so sweet. And I love that. Um, so here is the May sampler that came with it. Lots of teddy bears going on, which I think is the cutest thing. Little teddy bear onesies. So we have working on a laptop. Um, just kind of being tired or sad. Super useful. And then taking a nap, also super useful. I think in a recent plan with me, I, I marked taking a nap like five times in one week, which was ridiculous. And I've been so good about not doing that lately, but I've also taken to drinking coffee every day instead, which is not a good substitute for like a power nap. But I can't take power naps. I always take like two hour naps and that's a huge waste of time. So LOL, no, I, I need to be better about one of those things. I don't know if you can tell by how fast I'm talking compared to usual. Yes, I've had my coffee or my caffeine today. So we also have a cute little volunteer munchkin. Haven't seen those before. That's really sweet. And then a little pink camera. Also very cute. And then the little logo, of course, which I did just recently use in a plane with me to mark placing an order. So I do, I do try to use those. Um, what else? Let's go over the extras just so I like know what they are because I'm so curious. I've never gotten this many. So we have a million of these checklists, which look, well, they're obviously oops. I think all of this section is just oops because they cut out all the way. So they're like sticker flakes, which as you know, just means that you have to peel off the backing in order to use it as a sticker because it cut out all the way instead of just kiss cutting. Um, is this even a sticker flake or, or is this? No, this is, I can see the border. Sorry for being like so close to the camera, but I've lowered my camera, so it's much lower than I expect. Anyway, you'd think with long nails I would be able to do this. <laughs> this is like super embarrassing. Anyway, you know, you all know what to do if you get these. You just peel off the backing and then you can use them as stickers, or if you are unable to, like me clearly, just like glue on the back and stick it down with a handy dandy glue stick. So. There's options, but these are really cute checklists. Um, I don't really use checklists anymore since I've graduated to some white space planning. Um, so I think I will be passing these on, but they are super cute. And I love this cello like more than anything. This is the cutest like snowflake pattern cello. Of course, it's the middle of, or like close to the beginning of summer right now. So it's really hot outside. And I wish the weather was all snowflakey, but it's not. But still, that like makes me dream of that. So. Those are really cute for people who use checklists. And we have four super oops. Now I always ask for super oops, but I always only get one. So clearly she was feeling like extra generous today. Um, and she, she's usually pretty good. They're usually pretty good about sending me stuff that I didn't already order. So it's not like a double of anything, even though that would kind of be more useful, but like this kind of introduces me to stuff that I would not otherwise have bought. Why, why, do, why did I say bought? That's the one thing I've noticed that other people say, and I'm always like, uh, no, that's not a word. It's like bought or should have bought, not should have bought. And now I just said it. I have literally like hazed myself into saying that now. I don't know. Please ignore that. Um, so we have this little cleaning sheet. Obviously, you can see the super oops quality going right there, but there's still like 
10, 11, 12 completely untouched stickers that are usable on this sheet out of like 15, so heck yeah. Um, the thing is it's cleaning though, and I literally never clean. I'm so bad about that. I am not a cleaning person. I don't like it. I don't get motivated to do it. I am pretty happy to live in the same level of like filth that I always do until somebody else sees that it gets bad enough and then they clean it and then we're back to normal. So I don't know. It never like nobody else ever lets it get bad enough to the point where I actually start noticing that it's dirty. So I'm bad about that, but I know I should be better. I do clean the kitchen sometimes. And once every few months, I'll vacuum the floor of my room. It's not like I'm a dirty person to begin with. Like, so it's not a huge issue. But, like, I don't know. There's probably dust in places that have not been dusted in years that are contributing to my allergies. So, hopefully this will encourage me to clean more. Like I said, I do clean the kitchen fairly often, though, because I'm always in there. Um, then we have this little, like, soda one. I will be de this, passing this on, because I do not drink soda. But these are really super cute. And then we have Munchkin head labels. These are actually pretty good for me. They are cut like at a hilarious diagonal, which is too good. Um, but these are actually really good for me because I keep going on about how I want more little things. And I never have enough little things for when I'm doing Plan With Me's because of my some white space style of planning. So never have enough. Um, so for the ones that are usable, like probably... I don't know. I might use this one anyway. There's a little bit of a white strip at the top. But, like it's hard to see. And as for this part, like, I always cover that up with a character sticker anyway, so these are still very useful for me, so I will be keeping that. Um, and then we have the wash hands sheet. I'm trying to see... Oh yeah, so obviously the silhouette gave up um, right after the beginning, so only eight of these are cut. Which is good because this wasn't the sheet I was really going to get anyway. Um, I'll probably just use it, like, sporadically throughout... Oh, this one was cut too, so there's nine. Um, just sporadically throughout whenever I'm marking quarantine time. Um, because obviously I do wash my hands a lot. But, um, I don't know, it's never something you need to mark, because you're supposed to do it like ten times a day anyway. I'm not going to mark it ten times a day. But, um, yeah, they're still really cute, so still usable. Alrighty, so those are all the extras. Super generous. And now let's get into the chonker of an order. So, I have a lot of mini sheets that I kind of spread it out, so we'll kind of start with those. I like the minis. So, I did get two of the um, cashier ones, because I did need more cashier stickers. I kind of don't have that many. You've seen me use the same two um, in the entire history of my plan with me, is to mark being a cashier, which is the Coffee Monsters Co. ones and the Sweet Ava or Paper and Thread, formerly known as Sweet Ava's Paper. Um, those are the only two shops that I've seen with cashier stickers that I've, like, that I've gotten. So, um, I saw these and I was like, I immediately need to have these. Obviously, they're part of her mini occupations line, which is just all the occupations that are deemed as essential workers during this, um, during this virus time. So, um, but, like, I, I do do this on occasion. Um, I'm mostly a bookkeeper at my local grocery store, but lately they've been giving me more cashiering jobs, which I hate more than anything in the world, but, you know, I have to make money, and where else is hiring right now, so, except other grocery stores where I would be doing the exact same thing, so, I still have to market, unfortunately, so, that's why I got 24 new stickers to mark that, they're really cute, so, it makes me feel better about it, getting to market with cute stickers, um, next we have Coraline, I did get a lot of the, not a lot, I got the um, pop culture sheets that were available, so we have just the Coraline sheet. I did get the full sheet of Coraline too, so you'll see that in a minute. But um, I just I'm obsessed with Coraline like more than should be legal, because I I don't even think about it that often. It's not one of those things that I randomly quote throughout the entire year, like I do with the Polar Express, which is a Christmas movie. I don't know Halloween stuff like doesn't doesn't really like stay with me as long. But every time it even comes across my mind, I immediately get re-obsessed with it. And I'm like, this is literally the greatest stop-motion animation movie ever created, which is not true because Leica has come out with so many. They're like geniuses when it comes to that. But um, I don't know. It might actually be the greatest one, not just in terms of like the animation aspect, but because of the story. I haven't read the book yet, so I don't know how good of an adaptation it was. But I know that if you look at it just as a movie, it's freaking brilliant. Like... It's so creepy, like just the right amount of creepy, and it's beautiful, 
the music's good, it's perfect. So I, every time I see a Coraline thing, I have to get it. So I do have a lot of Coraline stickers actually, but and I have the most perfect Coraline kit, which if you've followed my channel for a long time, you know the story behind that. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye out for when I use that. I don't know, maybe this year, we'll see. But anyway, I had to get the cute core lines. Not that I'm even going to watch it that often enough to use like every single one of these, but I'm going to try. So next we have the mini bunnies. I got the pancake and the burger because sometimes I just stuff my face just like this bunny. And I want, I want a version of this bunny with every food that I stuff my face with. Like, give me a burrito, give me ice cream. Those are the things that me and Aiden stuff our faces with when he comes to hang out. So I kind of need that. But I will make do with just a, a burger and a pancake for now. Because these are things I don't eat that often. But I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little too related to this bunny. Like, he's too relatable. So I had to get it. These are obviously from Rick at Ralph. If you've seen even the, the trailer, I think you kind of know what the deal with this bunny. He, like, explodes because Ralph feeds them too much food, but it's hilarious, and I love that it's now in sticker form. So, um, a lot of these were, like, to be discontinued or, like, low stock or something, so I had to grab those, so they, these were final stock, so I finally bit the bullet on getting those. Then we have Chicky Nuggies, because, OMG, I am addicted to Chicky Nuggies now. I did not even know, like, I didn't eat them, like, at all until, I want to say, a few months ago when a coworker brought them in to work on his lunch break and he had extras and he gave me some chicken nuggies from McDonald's and I was like, okay, well, it's meat, I need protein and then I ate one and I've never gone back since like these, I'm like addicted like, it's, I'm not kidding they are so good, I hate everything else from McDonald's I hate all, almost all other fast foods except like Subway and Chipotle but chicken nuggets are the best things ever so, hence the sheet um, smoothies, I've frequently in my most recent videos been asking for recommendations on smoothie stickers because I literally do not have any except for maybe a few on a paper shower sampler but I literally like don't have any so I had to get this sheet from Once More With Love and I'm so glad this happened even though I'm like I'm back planning for last fall now like almost until winter even so obviously I'm not really gonna have a chance to mark that much then but in current times I've started drinking a lot more smoothies so I need to be able to mark that when I finally catch up. Like this morning, my breakfast was a smoothie. So, heck yeah. These are really cute. I have smoothie stickers that I've drawn for my shop that I've not released yet. And I'm like, I'm waiting until I'm caught up on back planning to release those. But I keep thinking that, oh, if I was actually on time with everything, I would be able to use those. But story of my life. Cake. I don't really like cake. I don't eat cake that often. Hence, when I do eat cake for somebody's birthday or something, I have nothing with which to mark it. So... I needed this just for um, just for reasons of needing to have every type of sticker. I forget what the actual word for that is. Com completeness? I don't know. You know what I mean. Comprehensiveness. Whatever. Um, milkshakes. There's literally no milkshake stickers out there. Literally none. I mean, there's probably like one or two that I don't know about, but I've not seen any. So I needed milkshake stickers because, I don't know, milkshakes and smoothies are weird to me because I kind of make them with mostly the same ingredients. Um, like I'll put milk in a smoothie, um, I'll put veggies in a milkshake just to get my veggie content in. I don't even know. I literally don't. But occasionally I'll like go out to eat and I'll get a smoothie, so. Then I know for sure it's a smoothie. Popsicles. I just always get popsicle stickers because, you know, when it's hot I'm either going for ice cream or a smoothie or a popsicle. One of those cold things. Instapot, I do have an Instapot, I do use it on occasion. I'll go through like phases where I'm cooking all of my meat in an Instapot and then I'll go through a phase where I cook it all in the oven. I literally don't know. But for those occasions when I do have an Instapot phase going on, there you go. And then a cereal. Cereal is my special treat. I do not have it for breakfast or regularly at all because there's no nutrition in it. It's just sugar and like gluten and all the things I can't eat unless you get gluten free, in which case it's just sugar. So there's even less nutritional value, but um, I don't even, it's a special treat for me. So occasionally I'll have it for like a dessert. So it's a, it's special enough for me to, to actually buy the sheet because I bet you the people who are eating cereal for breakfast every morning are not buying this sheet. So it's for me. The sheet's for me. Okay, so I have like 13 minutes left to make this a reasonable sized haul and this many. Can I do it? Can I do it? Stay tuned to find out. I don't know if I can do it. 
Um, busy work day. Self-explanatory. I am marking a lot of super busy work days lately. So, here you go. That is definitely my level of panic. My level of deadness. This makes sense. Phone time in bed. Um, I mostly use these type of stickers to mark catching up on memes. That's basically about it. Shamelessly addicted. Wake up early. I have been doing this so much lately, and I am obsessed with waking up early. It is my favorite thing. Um, it's better when I can do it on my own because I have a closing shift at work as opposed to being forced to wake up at 5 o'clock for a 6 o'clock shift in the morning, in which case it's terrible. But on my days off and like days when I'm closing or get to sleep in a little bit longer than 5 a.m., um, I have been waking up on my own early and it just makes me so much more productive and gives me so much more time in the day. Much better than if I you sleep till noon like I used to do because if I sleep till noon, even if I am not doing anything the whole day, I just will continue to not do anything. It's just not a productive day. Um, I know I have more Animal Crossing stickers, so I'm going to kind of shunt them off to the side and go over them like at the end when I'm sure I've gone through them all. Puzzle stickers! I Did I just haul a puzzle sticker from a shop? What shop was it? It wasn't Sweet Eva's Paper, now known as Paper and Thread, was it? I literally don't think it was. Was it Coffee Monsters Co? Hey, bonus points if you watched all of my hauls and you remember which shop I just hauled a puzzle sticker from, because I don't know! But I'm pretty sure this is my second full sheet of puzzle stickers, which is really disappointing to me because I went on so many trips to my parents' house last year in which I did puzzles with them, and I didn't have anything to mark puzzles, so I didn't have a chance to use all these. And now that we're in quarantine times and I can't go visit them, I'm not marking puzzles. I don't do puzzles on my own. It's a group activity. So this is very sad to me, but now I have them for the future times. Let's put that over there. Um, yeah, so the only thing I really did get to mark the quarantine times, I think, was this face mask, sh mask sheet. Um, I don't know, it might have more uses other than just the quarantine, so that was kind of my thinking, but also I wanted just to have one definitive sticker to mark quarantine. I did get the toilet paper sheet from Paper and Thread, because obviously I did, but, um, I don't know, this is also just, like, another big marker of the of the virus times, so I don't know if I need all these stickers, but I might, I might, so there's that. And then sewing by hand, as I'm sure you've heard me mention many times, I do have to mend and um, tailor a lot of my own clothing because I am like a very odd, short, curvy size that nothing fits right away, so, and I don't like paying people for things that I can do myself, so I do a lot of hand sewing, so that's that. Um, trolls. I actually just marked watching the first Trolls movie in my planner recently. Oh, look, look who escaped. Um, so I used a movie marquee from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. So I didn't really need one of these at the time. I have not seen the second one, though. The Trolls World Tour. So I'm kind of hyped for that. I've heard it's cute. So, um, I did need to be able to mark that. So, did I, did I haul another Trolls sticker sheet recently? I feel like I may have hauled a Coffee Monsters hauled a Coffee Monsters Co. one. Um, either way, I like to use these sheets from Once More Love as deco sheets if I use, like, a kit marking trolls, or just even just whatever kit I use for the week that I watch trolls, I'll just use this. I don't know. I just think they're cute. Fourth of July, I have, like, zero, f I have, like, one Fourth of July sheet, so. I need to kind of up my collection, although I don't really mark it, I don't really do anything for it. I'm not really even that patriotic, wasn't even born in America. Although I have lived here my whole life, so I don't know. I don't know. It's cute, so I'm going to use that. This one's great. I'm 108% tired. Yay, there's another extremely tired sticker. I was just asking for Rex on this one in my last time with me, so well, there's some. She actually has a lot of sheets. I wonder how many I got. There's one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get there. Um, law and order. Like the show. Ha ha ha. I've never seen the show. Um, I don't know. This could be used to mark jury duty or like any show or movie you watch where there's like anything law related or even books there's a lot of like crime thrillers out there that would be pretty fun to read and I'm, i haven't really seen this type of sticker anywhere else so i'm building up my collection 
lol i did need the food baby sheet because i've had to mark this a few times recently and i've had to use like pregnancy stickers and i'm like that i feel like we can do better so i had to get this one which is appropriate i don't know i don't often eat so much that i have a food baby it's always if i'm either eating with a friend or eating out and or eating out um but if i buy food for myself and make my own meals i will never overeat I'll always under eat so it's a rare sticker for me to use but i need it um, best friends, I need this sheet so bad because I have to mark a lot of, like, friend stuff where, um, where, like, I don't have the right skin and hair color and I feel weird using the wrong one to mark somebody. So, this is just kind of an anytime occasion for that. Um, I need, like, a girl and guy one, though, because, like, most of my friends are guys. And I should have checked to see if there was one. I have no idea. Um, podcast. As I've explained recently, I have started a podcast with my friend, and no, I'm not going to really tell you where to find it, because I am much more casual and more inappropriate and sweary on there, and I don't really want that associated with this perfectly clean channel, where I think the most sweary I've gotten is saying the word hella. Sorry for any kids listening. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we talk about movies because that's like the one thing I'm obsessed with that isn't sticker I, I'm obsessed with everything but movies is probably my second biz biggest obsession movies and tv shows so we talk about those sort of things on our podcast we just recorded one yesterday on the king's speech which is literally the best movie of all time in its category all critics agree with that so it's an objective opinion legit um so yeah, I will use this to mark recording podcasts, and then I also listen to a lot, so those to mark listening. If you want recommendations, I will give you two off the top, well, three off the top of my head. One, Lore, the podcast Lore is amazing for anything spooky. So is uh, the Supernatural podcast, Supernatural with Ashley Flowers, I think. I'm addicted to both of those. Same with Ologies, it's a science podcast based on any type of ology, it's so good. And then My Favorite Murder, obviously, if you're into like murder comedy podcasts those are the best the best four podcasts that i follow um there's a few more that i follow but those are the best ones still on barbecue it really made me sad that i marked barbecue two times recently and i didn't have any actual barbecue stickers to use and i was really angry about that same with like all the things i mentioned before like puzzles and crap like it made me so angry I just had to get these and now they've come too late for me to mark that I don't remember eating barbecue recently when am I gonna use these now so I don't know I may get suckered into it at some point in the future so I just need to be prepared you know I need to have all of them wedding sheet I wanted like a really neutral wedding sheet I have wedding stickers I think one of them is with like a pair of dogs so that's pretty good but the other one is from Whimsical Cat Studio and that has actual like people with skin colors and hair colors um so I wanted like a more neutral one that isn't just animals so I could mark more weddings that I attend. So here's that. Really cute. I like how you can write in the names on that one. Um, I have like one friend that I think is the closest to getting married next. So I don't think I'll attend the wedding, but I'll at least mark it in my planner. I don't know. We'll see. Everything's crazy at this, at this time of life. Obviously, I had to get the full smoothie sheet because I need more smoothies. This is actually juicing. It's the juicer sheet, but, like, come on. These can easily all be used for smoothies, so but there you go. I don't really juice. I think it removes a lot of the nutrition out of the fruit, um, and I think that has that is, like, an actual fact. And it just feels weird to be, like, drinking fruit sugar, which is basically what juicing is. Like, I need, I feel like I need more nutrition than that, so. Um... This one is fluffy, so this one is basically another, like, food baby type sheet. Super duper appropriate. This is the full-sized Coraline sheet that I kind of hinted at earlier. So it's not just Coraline, we also have the other mother, the other father, um, evil, other mother, and then YB. So that's all very cute. I wish the cat was on the sheet. The cat, whose name I never know, and I don't even think he has a name. But he should have a name, because all cats deserve names and love. Um, coffee 2.0, so I guess this is like the revamped coffee sheet. I don't think I had the original because I wasn't drinking coffee then, but now that I am, I need the coffee sheet. I have a million and one tea stickers and also a million and one packages of tea in my house that I have not really been drinking lately since I got into coffee, but I can use a lot of those for coffee, but I also wanted just actual coffee stickers, so there's that. Movie and TV couple, I think I already had this. 
but um, why did I get this? I don't know. I got it again. There it is. I own it. Um, it could be used for obviously a couple stuff, but also friend stuff, because Aiden and me, we watch movies all the time, so there you go. Um, therapy. I don't go to therapy. I used to when I was younger. It didn't do anything for me. Um, I just, I know that it's just not for me, but I do do kind of self-therapy on occasion where I think of a topic at hand that I want to talk about because people really love talking about themselves. So I'll, I'll talk through it out loud and kind of come to some conclusions on that myself. So I'm going to use that to mark that. Um, and then here we have the other tired sheet with the panda panda eyes, the dark circles, that's me, I love the kitty napping on top of the head, that is so weird, but I love it, so cute, I don't own cats right now, but I got to pet a cat today, and it was like the highlight of my day, so if you throw a cat into any sticker, I'm gonna love it, um, and then we have some family stickers, so we have family feast, I used one of these, I think, as, that I got off a of sampler recently, but I was like, I need more of these, because I have a big family on both sides, and we frequently get together and, like, go on trips and stuff, or spend the holidays together, so, this is really good for marking stuff like that. If you look closely, they're eating like pie and salad and it could be like Thanksgiving or like anything really. And then of course the family sheet. I don't have enough family stickers. I'm always on the lookout for more and I am an only child. So hilariously, I probably am still that small compared to them because I'm like less than five feet tall and they're pretty tall. Um, obviously I'm adopted, but... <laughs> Yeah, otherwise I would have gotten much better jeans in the height department, but whatever. So, this is still realistic for marking when I go to see them. Alright, only a few sheets in, like, a few minutes. Let's go. Let's go. So, these are not all pop, pop culture. So, here is the lunar animals. This is basically based off of the Chinese calendar. Every year gets a new animal and they kind of go in cycles. What are we right now? The year of the rat, I think? I feel like we are. Anyway, I got this for the same reason I get all of the onesie emojis from, or emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. and Munchkins from Once More With Love. Because occasionally I need to mark something like a sheep or a chicken or a pig or a horse. And I don't have any other stickers for that. So, you know, just occasionally. If I'm watching a movie about a farm, there you go. So, <laughs> That's kind of my thinking in terms of that. And then here we have Hiking 2.0. I don't know if I already have this one. I don't think I do, but I do go hiking a lot. And Aiden and I have gotten back into hiking, so... Yep, that's to mark that. And then finally, Pop Culture, Lilo and Stitch. I don't have any Lilo and Stitch stickers um, or kits. I know there is one from Skrull Prince Co., but... Kittenish Girl just put out the art, and I know a lot of other shops are using that art, so I haven't made up my mind on where to get it yet, but I will get a kit eventually. I will. I've, I've watched the movie before, I think. I don't really remember too much of it. I've seen a few episodes of the show. I need to, like, actually binge it because it is really good, so I'll have to dedicate a week to that and then use these cute little stickers. So you have Stitch, the little doll, which I think is Scrump, so that's a onesie, and then that's the actual doll. I have no idea what the girl the love interest of Stitch's name is, but she's pretty. And then Lila, of course. You should have had Nani on this sheet. She's pretty essential to the Lila and Stitch movies and show shows. Um, then we have the If I Didn't Have You sheet, which is obviously Monsters, Inc. So cute. I don't think I even have any other Monsters, Inc. stickers from anywhere. I have a kit, which I got from Keytown, which is your go-to one-stop shop for any pop culture kits that you don't see in any other shops. So, highly recommend you check that out. Um, so yeah, I'll probably use these stickers as deco for when I use that kit. I have seen the first movie, I have seen the second movie, which is not as good, but it was still really good. I need to re-watch that um, and kind of think about it more, because I've seen some good videos on that. However, they are coming out with a new show, Monsters at Work. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's out yet. I think they're still kind of working on it, but when it is released, I will, I don't know if I'm going to want, I feel like I should because I have stickers and I need an occasion to rewatch like everything Monsters, Inc. So I feel like I'm going to probably watch that because of that. But, um, if anything adds more lore to the Monsters, Inc. canon and I love more canon, so... I'm probably going to watch that whenever that comes out and use that. So then finally, we do have three Animal Crossing sheets I did kind of given. I am getting all the Animal Crossing stickers nowadays. As you've heard me mention, 
Um, I do own New Horizons, but I cannot play it yet because I don't have a Switch and I don't anticipate really having one anytime soon. Um, but instead I keep playing New Leaf on my 3DS and I'm, I just finished paying off my very last loan on that. So I hope there's like a paid off final loan sticker on this bucket list. No, that's so sad. I'm sure somebody's got one. But anyway, so I don't really think I'll be playing it as regularly, but I'll try to keep playing with playing it because I just love Animal Crossing and I need to really combat my FOMO about not being able to play New Horizons. So I am buying all the stickers. Um, so here we have just the costumes. So these are like little onesies. So we have Isabel and a switch, Tom Nook just a leaf which could be a whole piece of furniture and then a looks like a fox character i don't know who that is i think it's just one of the villagers but i don't really know which one so let me know if you know then we have the bucket list that this is specifically for new horizons um so we have create my island new museum so these are used to mark you know whatever day that you happen to do these on which is a really cool idea um new museum three house upgrades Make a donation, new resident, three of those. New campsite, new resident services, Mabel arrives, Isabel arrives. She's not right there when you start? Oh man, that's so sad. Catch tarantulas, which are apparently the new beetles. I am obsessed with catching beetles, or beetle farming as I call it, on New Leaf. That's like literally my top two favorite things to do, that and diving. But I guess it's tarantulas now, which seems so much more stressful, so I'm kind of scared. Um, and then Abel Sisters, Celeste. I loved Celeste's role in Wild World, where you can make your own constellations. I still do have that game, so I need to do that again. But um, I didn't really like her role in New Leaf, where she just has a museum shop, which I never attended, and was just kind of boring. I don't know what her role is in this one. I, I think it does have something to do with the museum still, but we'll see. But I wish she would go back to her constellation thing. Shooting stars, which apparently are really cool. CJ visits. Um, CJ is like the predecessor of... Um, Chip or whoever the like otter dude was before. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, Flick visits. He's like the bug guy now. By turnips. So this is. Oh my goodness. Um. Somebody may. Why do I not know this? She's a really cute little sow that's replaced Joan in terms of your turnip buying and selling, which is something I never really did in New Leaf. Um, build and climb, build bridge, catch a huge fish. I'm so bad at fishing. And then Kiki Sider concert. Love. So that's great. And then just the deco sheet. Just the furniture leaf, fossil, turnip, bag of bells, and then the pitfall. So that is my hefty order from Once More With Love. And yeah, I think that's a reasonable length for this haul segment. So I will go ahead and wrap that up now. So Thank you so, so much for watching everything. Again, stay tuned for my upcoming hauls. I have, I'll just sneak this for you. I have a huge stack of kits that you will see in my next haul. So that'll come out next week. And yeah, if you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, do all those amazing things, I would super, super love you for it. I Thanks for um, 400 subs. I'm super pleased to get over 400 subs on YouTube and over 400 followers on Instagram. That is super amazing. Um, and if y'all help me get to 500, there will be a big giveaway for y'all. So if you want to jump on that train, that'd be great. And yeah, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Ciao.